Hi there, my name is Terry and this is 5 Minute Velo. Today I'm going to be showing you what I do when I change chains on my bike. I'm going to change the chain on my touring bike today and in addition I'm going to put on a new cassette and a new rear gear changer. However, I'm not going to cover the fitment of those. Today I'm going to fit a new SRAM chain that comes with a power link or a quick link as it's sometimes called. Okay, what else do we need? Well, we'll need a chain splitting tool. Today I'm going to use methylated spirits as a degreasant, but you can use any other common degreaser. I'm going to want a dab of multi-purpose grease, a clean rag for degreasing the chain, and finally I'm going to be using a non-silicon based beeswax spray. This is a furniture polish that's basically beeswax and a solvent. Okay, let's start with the preparation and then get on with fitting the chain. I've taken the chain out of its packaging and I've put the quick links to one side. And now I've hung the chain from a nail that I've put in the rafters of my shed. When you unpack the chain, and it has grease both on the inside and the outside. On the inside, it's there for lubrication and on the outside, it's there to prevent rusting or corroding. I find the grease on the inside works well as a lubricant and I like to leave it there. However, the grease on the outside, although it stops corrosion, is very sticky and as you ride along it'll pick up dirt and grit from the road and turn it into a sort of grinding paste. And if there's one way of reducing the life of your chain and its efficiency, it's to run it dirty. Next, remove the grease from the outside of the chain. So I put a bit of the solvent onto the rag and the important thing here is not to make the rag too wet. You just want it damp because what you don't want is the solvent going inside the chain and washing the grease from the inside. Remember on the inside it's there to lubricate and we want to retain that. So now I've taken the grease off the outside of the chain we can get on and fit it to the bike. Okay I've taken the chain down and I have the clean chain on a piece of rag here and my two quick links available. I also have the grease ready. I'm going to thread the chain through the transmission now going from the smallest chain ring on the front to the smallest sprocket at the rear. I've got the chain threaded through the transmission and if I bring the two ends together you'll see that there's a small gap which is good because when I bring them together then the rear derailleur goes under a small amount of tension which is what I want. If the chain is too long you can use a chain splitting tool to take out a few links. As I said earlier I'm going to use these quick links to join the chain. Now the quick links usually come dry so I put a little bit of grease on the pin of each one. One half of the quick link goes into each end of the chain and they need to point in opposite directions. When the chain comes together the pins fit into the slot in each of the quick links and then you just give it a little pull and it clicks into position. And that's it, the chain is fitted. Give the chain a further degreasing particularly try and get rid of the grease that I put on the quick link. The final stage here is to put the wax on the chain. I just take a small piece of rag, put some of the spray wax onto the and again just leave it for a few minutes for the solvent to evaporate. So all I'm going to do is wrap this around the chain Now all you have to do is wait for the solvent to evaporate from the chain and you have one chain that has wax on the outside and grease on the inside. All you've got to do now is go for a ride.